You are back on the Mountain Morning Show. Thanks once again for joining us. We are once again talking about a Sundance short. This time it is Exchange and Mart in studio to my immediate right. We have Martin Clark, director, and also Kara Connolly, also second director. How is that working together, you guys? You're both directors. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> that work out yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah. It does. It works well. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, welcome to Sundance. How was it first off being here in Park City for the festival? It was amazing. It was, um, uh, we couldn't believe how friendly everyone was and everyone um, uh, is so welcoming and everything. And we've met quite a few <coughs> of the shorts programmers and they've all seen our film, every one of them. And you can talk about the, the film with them for ages and they know all about it. We were mm -hmm. like, that's totally amazing how much of your film is known already before you even get you. Uh, incredible. Yeah, and something that we did whenever things got stressful making the film in pre-production or in sh during the shoot, we kept saying to each other, it'll all make sense when we're in Sundance, as a kind of to sort of spur us along. <laughs> and, uh, as a joke. And, uh, as a joke. <laughs> as a promise and, that yeah. you didn't really know if it would be fulfilled. Yeah, kind of so thing. now that we're here, it's kind of surreal and amazing, and yeah, it's brilliant. Wonderful. So yeah. let's give an overview of the film. What exactly is it about? It's about a girl's boarding school, a girl in a girl's boarding school in Scotland, and she has uh, to do a self-defense course. And in order to pass the test, she has to walk through the woods alone and be attacked by her instructor and defend herself. <laughs> Which is something that uh, the school that I went to in the 80s, we had to do that. Except I didn't actually have to do the test because they banned it, funnily enough, because it's a bit weird. <laughs> well, I, I can see the, the positive of preparing somebody, but really the way uh, it's kind of controversial, <laughs> I would yeah, think, yeah. in terms of how that all went yeah. down. So what does the film discover, uh, delve into then? Well, it's, it's really about um, loneliness and um, desire, I suppose, are the main themes. Um, it's a girls' boarding school. She has no contact with men other than this really strange one with this, with this instructor, which is obviously a kind of a, a really weird situation. Uh, and she really craves a, a normal kind of human contact that we all do. And I think it's a really universal uh, story, you know? It's a weird situation that this girl is in, but I think it's something that all teenagers go through, hmm. you know? All right. And then uh, share with me, Martin, what was it like directing, what is it like directing a film? What are some of the greatest, mm -hmm. I guess, the th challenges you deal with and some of the most enjoyable aspects of it? Well, the amazing, I mean, the, the biggest challenge I felt was um, was the lead up to the film of like wondering, because we had, this is our first drama, so we'd made a few documentaries before that and different things, whereas we're just kind of, it's just usually two of us, both shooting and directing. So the this idea of having to, you know, be in charge of this cast and crew was really, really, really nerve wracking. So we kind of, um, kind of had to try and kind of mentally prepare ourselves for it. But then, uh, uh, when we got on set and we were and we were there, we just couldn't believe we could have all these people helping us. <laughs> it was like such an amazing. <laughs> you seem really surprised. Yeah, yeah, yeah but it was just. I know, but it was. It was just. It was just so great. But it was um, very easy. We were quite it's because we're used to doing everything on our own. We were mm. very bad at procrastinating. So I was up fixing windows and Cara was moving <laughs> ladders. And everybody kept coming up to us and saying, "Stop doing that." Yeah, just, just start concentrate thinking. on the film. Concentrate like, on the okay, film. Okay, wow. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, just try and help out, guys. That's all. Just try and help out. All right. Yeah. Well, what do you hope the audience? leaves the theater feeling like once they see something like this obviously there's a <coughs> broader array of individuals that come to see films mm. at Sundance all with mm. different backgrounds you kind of touched on it before how it yeah. kind of touched on uh, reveals some of those universal themes mm. that we all deal with what do you want people to take away I don't know it's an interesting question and I don't know I think I think it would be lovely if they they related to it in some way because it is a kind of it's a strange I guess when we started out um, I, I remember saying to when I was writing the script I remember saying to Martin I hope people care about these little, sort of little posh girls in a boarding school you know and don't think well they're just you know but I think that I think that you sort of fall in love with the characters because they are um, real yeah they're real <laughs> and I think yeah I think they're just they're just kids yeah. yeah well, we so wanted them to be. We wanted it to feel real. We wanted we feel like real teenagers. You know what I mean? It was like so. It was a. Yeah. It's um, and not being a kind of cliched like girls kind of thing because they're a little bit different. So they're not all like jumping about like ah. You know, they're kind of actually they're kind of lonely and sad and funny and mm -hmm. and bright. You know. So um, uh, and we wanted the school to feel really real as well. Like not kind Where of. Where like, did you shoot exactly? In a place called Danoon in Scotland, mm -hmm. uh, in a in an old castle there, which was amazing. And when we were shooting, we all stayed there, 
It was really weird for me because it was like going back you to stayed in the school. castle, the same place you were filming. Was that creepy? It, it was amazing. Really? In bunk okay. beds. Uh, it wasn't and scary at all? No. Okay, because when you say castle in Scotland, it kind of brings to my mind some scary <laughs> yeah. old English literature. So anyway, <laughs> but it, it worked out well, it yeah, sounds like. Yeah, no, it was like yeah. a big, strange pirate ship of, uh, of us all <laughs> rattling around in there. It was great fun. Yeah, so we're actually sleeping in dormitories. Yeah. Because it gets oh. used, the castle gets it kind used as a kind of... of yeah. 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 No, yeah, I regressed back to boarding school. I was like, come on, breakfast time, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. So last thing, what is it like for you guys? Um, uh, what did you learn most of all about working together uh, to put this film out? What uh, experience are you going to take from it personally? <sighs> That's a good question. Well, yeah. We well, don't know yet, right? It was, um, yeah. it was all the, the, quite often through the whole process as well, people are like two directors. Mm. To directors, how does that work? Or whatever, we weren't even quite sure how it was going to work. You know. for everyone else, so I suppose the dialogue that we always have when we're working together is just instead of having internal dialogue that most directors have, we just talk all the time. Yeah. So everything that comes into our mind just gets batted back and forward, and then yeah. I don't know how we manage it, but then we arrive at something that we both agree on and it works. Yeah, so we have to do good. it yeah, it's quite fun. quick, quickly, but we've got pretty well, good at it. Well, it seems to have worked quite well <laughs> since you are here <laughs> at Sundance. So where can we see the film? Um, it's playing tonight at Temple and um, on, Saturday on Saturday at Holiday and it's yes. 9 o'clock tonight at Temple and it's Saturday at Holiday it's I can't quite remember or you can just go to Sundance <laughs> yeah, online you can find it. if you can find it. Exchange in March Shorts Program 4. There you go. Thank you very much, Martin and, and Carrie here joining us for the short uh, exchange. And Martin will be right back after this commercial break. What we do, we will have a mu more music from Sonia brought to us by Access. Also, a little bit later, we're going to be speaking about uh, some more films. All that up next. Don't go away.